My name is Joe McGuire and I'm the Director of Compliance and Corporate Training for uh, Drug and Alcohol Testing with Conspire. Um, so we had been working for about the last year with a coaching team because we're a franchising organization. So we're corporate headquarters and our team was really working on um, how do we build our brand and how do we sell our differentiation and what does that look like and how do we describe our differentiators. And through that process we really started focusing on our vision and our value statement and it became very clear to us that we were commoditizing ourselves mm -hmm. and that was stumbling a stumbling block for us in trying to um, grow this business so we happened to hear Suzanne at an event and uh, we called up and said you know we we get this we're on the right track we understand where we're going but the brand DNA piece we, we knew we were missing some pieces and we didn't quite understand how to make them gel and make them come together. So we went through Brand DNA and as we went through it and we did the work together as a team, we really came to understand that the work we had done in writing the vision and making sure that we were in line with our mission statement and uh, working on the values pieces and even teaching them to our staff, we, the, the chunks we were missing was defining what they meant and how they apply um, like laying a grid over everything we do every day and we kept saying a lot of the language of we need to do these every day we need to incorporate them in what we do but it wasn't until uh, Suzanne helped us define them that we really understood and it started clicking mm -hmm. for us and it's made a huge difference in just daily operations Um, going through the process with our employee team was quite interesting. We worked very hard. It was a team building experience in and of itself. Uh, we have a tendency to work hard and play hard. Um, this was a, a work that was challenging. And we had to go back to the drawing board several times because we we all spoke from our different personalities and we had that one individual who kept saying you know, yeah, all of your words are great, but they did not meet the definition on this paper. <laughs> and um, it ended up being a lot of conceptualizing. We ended up even learning the things that we know we do not want to be defined by. Uh, but it was intensive, and we had to commit to doing it. But it was very well worth it because now we can be um, presenting to a potential client, we can be presenting to a potential franchisee. We can be just inspiring our employees at a team meeting and each one of us know exactly how to describe all of our style attributes and those wonderful things that go along with brand DNA. One thing for sure is that when we bring in a new franchisee, we have added an additional day of training to help them understand brand DNA. It's part of our marketing process that we were missing entirely. So we would talk about, you know, how you go out there and network or how you, you know, what kind of materials you want to put out there. But this has been like filling in a gap or a missing link for helping them understand on day one that we are a values-based organization. We're doing something greater than our product. And so we're really taking that information and teaching them this is why you want to be a part of this organization and it's really what identifies us will make us a household name and then uh, from there it's so interesting because even in the technical training they have a greater purpose they have a greater commitment to it because they understand there's a bigger picture there and that our our vision statement is huge and they are a part of accomplishing that We market ourselves completely differently. We really speak from a positive point of view. Uh, a lot of what we do out in the community is talking about uh, prevention efforts. And, and a lot of the topics that we manage 
can be, um, they can have negative connotations about them. Mm -hmm. And so as we've learned to speak through our differentiators, our style attributes and all of those things, um, we're really able to portray um, the value. We're really able to show how we're bringing value to each person because of our care and compassion for them and in the community. It's, it's not about the product. Ultimately, the product is just a detail. And it's been fascinating to see how people respond to that. Just in the last 30 days, um, our media attention has increased. Our request for um, uh, uh, press releases and newspaper articles and writing and even uh, board memberships. It, it's absolutely amazing how this has taken us to a completely different level in the field that we work in than we had ever done before. And we, we couldn't see what the glass ceiling was. And going through the brand DNA broke through that glass ceiling. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And that's the truth. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Be watching the news grow up and on every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's amazing. That is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Our brand mantra is excellence that transcends. And it really just seeps into every aspect of every person in our building and how they relate to people. Our brand promise is uh, that, that we really want every person who comes in the door to have a personalized experience where they're valued and validated and, and encouraged to reach their greatest wellness potential. And, and what that's done, it's given each person a different motivation for how they deal with people. And we sat down with our staff and we just had them go through, how do you do these things in your job every day? And what are your gaps? And then we created goal sheets from that. And um, it, it's, it's just been phenomenal as we, as we say those words and we market it that way. And we really understand that we want everyone who's a part of our organization to live and breathe the mission. That's what it's all about. And it, it's just having a very positive impact, but a very meaningful impression on our staff, and it's motivating them to do things thoughtfully and carefully. Um, and and it's, it's also very encouraging to us as well that we're, you're not just here doing a nine to five, you're, you're meeting people's needs. And uh, so we're thrilled that, that that was the product that we came up with. I cannot it, um, stress enough what a difference it's made for our team. We, we read books together. We motivate each other. We have quarterly themes where we challenge each other. We have competitions. We've always been very proactive to follow the models of success. Um, but we were still missing a piece. And, and that was the challenging thing is your blind spots are literally your blind spots and we couldn't always grasp what we were missing. Even for trying to create a marketing piece, it was just these very boring, bland bullet points. And again, it was about the commoditization, um, trying to think of a deal or a sale or whatever. Um, with branding DNA and having gone through that program, we now understand that this is a this is a concept, this is an idea, this is an inspiration, this is a passion, and uh, selling it from that point of view. In in just this last quarter, we've added more customers than we have in the past year, because I think people understand and they recognize the difference in our motivation to help them personally and provides a different level of service. It's very exciting for other businesses. I think that you just, it, it's such a worthwhile investment to take a look at what you're doing and understand it on a new level and make sure that you're, you're recognizing the marketing piece that you need that sets you apart. In today's economy, it is all about setting yourself apart and understanding your differentiators and how you have that approach. Um, it, it's really priceless. I'm telling you, it, it's been gangbusters around here. You would be, you would just be blown away by what's going on. Um, I was appointed to our National Industry Board, and I used 
the brand DNA language when in my application oh. to say because it's everybody in this industry so what sets you apart and so I used our language in my application and they requested last week that for the first time ever they're breaking a rule in the um, industry to have me head up a new committee wow. um, and new new first years they don't do that so and it's an international committee so it's like so we're all going <laughs> I mean we're being called and requested as the expert and a lot of it is yes what's been going on in the 64 but we've been marketing ourselves differently mm -hmm. we are not marketing the drug test we're marketing this great it's a whole different way of looking at it, it is it's well, really cool. Thank you so much You're for your welcome. testimonial. I, I'm so excited to see you guys just kind of blossom and take yeah. a new direction. And but you you were successful before, but right. now you're capitalizing on what you can leverage and maximize. Well, yeah. Before it was slow and it was painful, and now we're just like bam, bam, bam. Like we had two discovery days last week, and we already have the the fourth franchise or the fifth actually it's the fifth franchisee coming on, um, and we're like. We, we just got this one then we got the next one you know it's it's really amazing and I I mean I would it have happened otherwise probably but we have all we've got a new commitment level mm -hmm. a new mm -hmm. motivation level a new understanding our discovery day is different hmm. we do, there's not a picture of a drug test in that presentation because that's not what we're selling right you know and that changes everything. It does. It's pretty cool. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So cool. Thank you. <laughs>